Welcome to Hanged Montero. It's beautiful to see you. Um, if you're just joining us, my name is Jordan. I am Hanged Montero. We're going to get started with our celebrity to card reading in just a minute. But before we get into their reading, I want you to go hit subscribe. Go ahead and hit subscribe. We're going to hit subscribe and click that bell. When you click the bell, you won't miss anything here. All right, we're going to dive straight into this. I'm going to do a current reading through Oracle card first and go over the astrology of Alexandria and James Lafferty. So we will be going over both of those. We're going to, I'm going to do a current reading, I think, on them. Their astrology is interesting. It's definitely interesting, I have to say. Um, so let's go over that really quick so we can get into this reading. I'm kind of excited to see what and how it turns out because they're pretty private about their relationship. So they're pretty mum. I'm excited to find out what's going on. All right. James Lafferty was born on Thursday, July 25th, 1985 in California, United States. He's a Leo and moon sign Scorpio. He's a birth path of one. He was born James Martin Lafferty, and he's an American actor. He stars as Nathan Scott on the CW's primetime drama, One Tree Hill. I haven't seen it yet. I'm going to make sure that I check it out. Uh, a lot of people love this show. There's like a cult following, I believe. He was born on the 25th of July in 1985. And he was encouraged by his mother to act as a hobby. And she also urged his other brother to act. So he attended the high school in the town that he lived in, in California, where he played basketball. Um, he earned MVP, an American All-League Award, at age of 10, is when he earned his first speaking role in 2001. He landed a role in the short-lived television series, Emerald. All right, let's move forward. Forward, Mosh. We're going to get into Alexandria Park. She was born Sunday, May 14th, 1989, and she was born in Australia, Sydney. She's a Taurus sign. Moon sign is a Virgo, birth path one. And she was born in Australia. She's an Australian actress as well. She's best known for her role as Claudia Hammond in the Australian soap opera Home and Away from 2009 to 2013. She's currently starring in the E! television drama The Royals as Princess Eleanor. She also started her film and television career in 2011 by uh, the cast being in the cast as Veronica in the Australian TV series, The Elephant Princess. And then she also, I believe, was in Tree Hill, I thought. I think that's where they met, if I'm not. If I'm not correct, I'm sorry. I'm not always correct. <laughs> All right, let's get into this. So currently in the energy of thinking things through, especially over on her end of things, she's really trying to rejuvenate, rest, kind of recuperate from something in specific. And next time or currently just being in a place where she's really making sure that she's clearing up her thoughts before she makes a decision on anything. Um, he is asking something with sincerity. So he needs, he's in a place where he is currently asking a question of her. Now this could be anything really. And he's really lacking in choosing his friends wisely. I don't know if that means. So whatever relationships are around him, some of them aren't being chosen in the adequate way that they, he should be choosing them. Um, and there is a question here and he's asking it with sincerity and we'll find out more about that when tarot cards are confirming the Oracle. And then we will get more information and tea on this relationship. So let's get into this tarot card reading. Now, I know somebody requested this, and I'm very surprised and shocked you're not here, Miss, Miss or Mr. I cannot remember at the top of my head here. Hold on. Lindsay Burns, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Lindsay Burns, this is your request, Miss. Okay. And you were not here. <laughs> Thank you for your request. Thank you for your patience. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for that. Because this took a minute to get to this one. But we're here. And you're not. <laughs> All right. Let's get into their thoughts of each other, their feelings towards each other, the actions that they will take towards each other, any likely outcome, what it is that they both want versus what they don't want. Mm -hmm. 
All right. Okay, so I'm going to get into her stuff first. So we're going to find out what it is that she's thinking um, and feeling for James Lafferty as far as their relationship goes. So currently just in a place where almost like there's something going on. It's very much underneath the surface of things. This is something that probably doesn't come out much. Um, it's almost like it kind of keeps chasing her and pushing forward and really has it ha giving her the potential to kind of like reveal something almost. It's like there should be some big reveal, um, almost like she could be like a master at like, you know, unveiling things. And as far as her feelings, she definitely has a lot of feelings, um, a lot of super good emotions, connections. And she's very passionate for this person. She's very passionate for James um, Lafferty. And she's always been like sexually attracted to him. And almost like every single time she feels like he's very good at initiating the flirt or, you know, being really charming and cute and grand, but the movement towards her, she really enjoys that too. But again, as far as feelings, there's definitely something here between the two of them that is kind of underneath the surface of things. There's a little bit of a shadow it kind of keeps chasing them. They try to, you know, strive for the light and really push forward. But it will catch up to you. I mean, the anxiety of it, the worry of it, it always tends to catch up to you. So that is a thing. And hopefully it doesn't. Hopefully it gets taken care of because, you know, you got to do the shadow work, whether it's you or your relationship. Shadow work is an important aspect in life. All right. Let's find out his thoughts on Alexandria. All right. Hmm. So he thinks he thinks the harmony here is really nice he loves the potential of their relationship and he definitely has a lot of passion loves to have sex with her loves to be physical with her he definitely adds creativity when he can but he feels like she draws in a lot of creative stuff um the both of them really work well together and there's like always a plan happening here between the two of them and it's almost like sometimes they struggle back and forth just to touch on who's in charge, if that makes sense, okay? And that is something that they're really trying to cooperate in doing and keeping that potential alive in the um, the energy within their relationship. So initiating passion leader in more ways than one, I have to say, as far as the both of them go. Um, his feelings are definitely that of passion once again. He leads in light. He leads in fire. He leads in love. He's definitely very lit up and determined to be in this situation and stay with this connection. He's very much driven in this emotional connect. It's very nice. Let's find out there are likely actions towards one another. Let's get into the, the, the tea. There's going to be no tea. How much you want to bet? <clears> hmm. <throat> Okay. So something kind of keeps him up at night a little bit here, as far as his intentions towards her. He's always indecisive about something when it comes to trying to make sure whatever's, whenever the situation um, mentally is anything that's in his hands when it comes to maybe being overly, it's like almost like overly com competitive. And there's like angst and worry about it. And it kind of keeps him up a little bit, kind of like makes him almost like he, he doesn't want to sleep, if that makes sense. So whatever, and there there's no finished here because it could be finished. There could be a conversation, but they're not talking about it. So whatever plans and ideas here are not being talked about, it's because there's an aggressive energy or some sort of tension about the plans or the ideas that the both of them have. Um, and she's over here with the intentions to keep moving towards him and getting fulfillment and really trying to finish up what it is that they've started. Now, this could be something to do with their work, whatever they're passionate about, or just in general, the passion within their relationship. OK, so it definitely could have something to do with the love stuff. But I'm just feeling like the logic here, the struggle at all of how things are being dealt with are not being dealt with because it's almost like once they start talking and there's a slight debate, it turns into chaos or struggle or conversation that leads to, you know, mad debates. The two of them like kind of fight over who's in the dominating position here. And it only works if they work it together. Honestly, let's find out what it is they want. What do they truly want between the two of them? What is it that they want next? 
Okay. Holy balls. Okay. Okay. So over on her hand, what she truly wants is lack of judgment. So she doesn't want to be judged harshly by him anymore. Um, so there's just an indication energy of like needing that to stop. Okay. And she needs that to stop in a really, really great way. As far as, because they are like-minded and, and that's being indicated here. They're very like-minded people. They're like almost the same person. But it's like as much as he's wanting a change or, you know, chaos to stop because he feels like there's like an external disruption. He feels like, you know, there's a lot of shit going on sometimes. And that is something that he's not really trying to focus on right now. But he doesn't want the disruption. He wants change, though, just as much as she wants him to stop judging her. So he has a little bit of um, a harsh way of judge. And it's like the information or the balance of anything here, like clarity is needed. OK, because, again, he he definitely is indicating that he it's like he can't sleep about certain things, whatever the struggle is. There's definitely a struggle when it comes to um, like a structure, stability, especially within his mind. So it could even just be in the mind because there is a plan, though. He wants to make a plan. He wants to move forward in this relationship. He wants to create, you know, more passion or more work with her even or just more work in general. And she's coming at him, you know, like really just trying to be physically fit, really possessing the best of all things, really sensual. She's really driving in the fact that like the senses are extremely important to them, aesthetic and all of that stuff as far as like sexual energy and motivating two of them to not resist each other and just really be down to earth here. Her wants are pretty simple, <laughs> kind of. Yikes. Okay. So over here on his end, again, he's really just wanting to plan and get into, you know, a place where he can trust. Okay. So something about trust, it just kind of wreaks havoc on him and it keeps him up, kind of makes his stomach hurt. Okay. Creates lack of stability. And she feels like he's judging too harshly according to what have happened twice. I just feel like there's a trust thing here and it's on her end. So that's where I'm going with that. Let's get a likely outcome for the rest of the month. What's up? Yeah, I'm finishing up right now. What are you doing? Um, James, you don't know them. James Lafferty and Alexandria Park. I'll be right out. Love you. All right. So likely outcome here is the give and take, the balance of power within the relationship is still going to continue to kind of be out of whack. Because again, there's a struggle between who's going to be the leader, who's going to be the dominating position. Uh, yeah, that's on the list. Yep. Um, so I feel like likely outcome is that she's going to continue to kind of fight this battle almost so that she, she's got all the knowing, she knows what's going on. She kind of looks over and reflects on the situation, but it's like, I don't give two shits. Like if you're going to keep fighting about this, it's like your mind is just very narrow in specifics to the fact that this is something that maybe she was doing. So it's like whatever kind of like almost like risk taking or non-direction that she's going, is she still fighting about it? She's still fighting a fight that has been fought and it's over. Okay. Cause he's just kind of in a place of like lack of emotion. So he's not really expressing himself emotionally. I mean, this started out great. I thought they were going to be bomb diggity, but I feel like, you know, the sensual stuff, the trust, the sensible stuff, the realistic shit is kind of like out the fucking door because communication or cooperating and finding, you know, a position for each of these people in this relationship, the power dynamic is completely whack. It's completely off. And that's going to have a lot to do with, somebody being just thoughtless or just like neglectful in the relationship or just like unforgiving. So that's just the incoming is unforgiveness, 
um, not expressing any emotion or connection or feeling here and just kind of fighting a fight that's over. Um, but fighting a fight that's not being expressed back. So like there is no, no passion going back and forth here. The fire's pittering out, but this, you know, she's still kind of like, you know, I have all, I'm fine. I'm, I'm good. I'm reflecting. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm trying to make peace here. I'm trying to put us into a place where, you know, the passion comes back and the, you know, I'm trying to be creative, but you're not listening and she's defensive. All right. That's the likely outcome. I don't know what the hell just happened. I feel like that took a turn really quickly. All right, please go ahead and hit subscribe to Hangman Tarot if you would please. And thank you. Thank you so much for coming in and checking out this reading with James Lafferty and Alexandria Park. I will get into my next celebrity reading, so stay tuned. Um, and yes, I do have a list. I have a long list, but I'm getting there. So please bear with me. Thank you for your patience otherwise. Um, other than that, please share, like, and follow if you would on these videos that do pop up on the upload, especially if they resonate. If you have a request for celebrity, check out the comments or get a hold of me in my social media in the details below. Otherwise, enjoy the rest of this beautiful Tuesday.